Hello everyone, to review our lesson 2, we are going to be doing an activity, and the name of this activity is Draw a Stick Man. So we're going to be using uh, what we learned using our coordinate system, as well as our points, lines, rectangles, and ellipses, to hopefully draw a uh, presentable looking stick man. So to start, we want to make sure that the size of our window uh, is tall enough for our stick man. So the, width, so the width for it, let's say, can be 500, and the height, let's say, is 800. Uh, if you ever want to test what it's going to look like, you can always click the Run button, and then after, when it shows up on your screen, which I'm about to get on our screen in a moment, see so whenever it shows up, uh, it'll show you the size of the window. So you can always click um, Play or Run the Program when you want to test something. So we're going to be doing that a lot. So now I'm going to click Stop. I'm going to take this off the screen, and let's start. I think a good place to start is our head, so we're going to be using an ellipse. Now, if you remember an ellipse, um, it's, uh, a, it, an ellipse can be a circle when its width and height are equal, uh, and that we have a center coordinate, uh, and that center coordinate is going to be, I guess, where the ellipse is drawn off of. So the center of 500 for our width would be 250 for our x. Uh, our y value, or where it's going to be height-wise, um, is probably going to be somewhere a little bit higher because we want to fit in the arms and legs. So let's go for something like uh, maybe 200. For our width and height, we want them to be the same. So let's go for something like 100, 100. And now if we click play, and if I get it on our screen here, one second, there we go. We see we have a nice little head there. So perfect. Now we can see uh, that uh, we have part of our stick man, and now it's time just for the body, the arms, and the legs. I'm going to be starting with the body, so I'm going to stop our program and switch back to the code. Uh, we know that since the circle, uh, the center of it is at 250x, um, and 200, 200 for the y, and we know that uh, the radius of it is 50, which is of course half its width, half the diameter, uh, we are going to start the line right where the circle ends. So we could say that line is going to start at 250 for the x, because it's still going to be in the middle of the screen. It's going to be at 250 for the y, because that's where the circle ends. And then after, again, because it's going to be uh, in the center of the screen, it's still going to be 250x. And let's make it go down to around maybe 500 for the y. Next, we can click Run. And once I pull it up on our screen here, we can see that that's perfect. It lines up right in the center of the circle and doesn't overlap anything. Now it's time for the arms and the legs. Let me stop our program. Here we are. So now... Uh, our arms and the legs, we're going to be using, I believe, four lines for that is fine. One for the right arm, one for the left arm, one for the right leg, and one for the left leg. Let's start with the right arm. Uh, because we know that our body, and let me just label this here. We're going to say this is the head, this is our body, and let's make this the arms. So, uh, because we know that the arm is going to start centered, we know that it's going to be 254x. Because it's going to be starting a little bit down the stick man, uh, down in his body, and we know the body starts at 250y and ends at 500, I'm going to say we're going to start at around, let's say, 325. This time, because the arms are going out, we want to be able to um, uh, change the x. So instead of 250, let's make it something like um, 275. And again, for the y, let's say it goes up a bit. And remember, going up, that means the y values decrease. So let's say it's 300. If you want to test that, then we just click Run to see how that works, or so see how that looks. And there we go. We see we have a little arm there. If we want to uh, make it a bit longer, we can click Stop, go back to the code, and maybe make it so that it goes out to around maybe 300 for the x and maybe 350 for the y. Nice thing about this is that we can just inverse this for the other arm. So it's going to be starting at the same place, but instead of adding 50 to x, we're going to be subtracting 50, which is going to leave 200. And for the y, it's going to remain the same. So if we click Run, we see that we have our same uh, arms on both sides. 
Now, uh, what we're going to be doing is doing our legs. So now, a new section of the code, legs. And because our legs are going to be starting at the bottom, uh, we, want, we know that the bottom of the line is at 500. So for our, our line, we want to start it in the center. And we want to start it at the end of the body line. And now our legs can basically go anywhere. So let's say they're going to 350 and 600. And because, again, we can just copy and paste this, say 250, 500. Instead of adding 100, we're going to be subtracting 100 from the 250. And the Y is going to be the same because it's still going down to the same spot. And here we go. Let's take a look. And this is how our stick men turned out. Yours might look different, that's completely fine. But uh, this little review helped us to understand the ellipse tools, help us understand our coordinate system more. Now we can use a bit of basic math to uh, ensure that everything lines up correctly. Bingo!